In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the best browser-based web applications for 3D sculpting. This means that you can do 3D sculpting right from within your browser. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Starting with one of the most advanced online 3D sculpting software called SculptGL. This is an old open source project developed by Stéphane Genier from France, who is now the developer behind Nomad Sculpt a sculpting and painting mobile application. So, as you would expect from a strong sculpting software, SculptGL has under the hood several features, and the main ones include of course sculpting tools and brushes such as inflate, smooth, twist effects, and a bunch of other deformation effects that you can use in the sculpting process. It also provides PBR vertex painting, allowing you to apply color, roughness, and metalness to your sculptures. In addition, you can use alpha textures with each sculpting tool. By default, you have skin and square textures, but you can import your own textures as well, giving you even more control over the details. One important feature of SculptGL is the multi-resolution sculpting, as it includes quad and triangular subdivision methods like Catmull, Clark, and Loop, allowing you to subdivide your models or retaining the changes made during the sculpting process which is very important. This means that whether you navigate from a low poly to high poly level or vice versa, your sculpting modifications and UVs will be preserved. It also offers voxel remeshing, which is very useful for topology as it produces clean quad only meshes with evenly sized quads. And for those who prefer working with dynamic topology, SculptGL has got you covered as well. Also, this web app supports real-time sculpting using triangles exclusively. With this feature, you can perform local subdivisions to create new triangles or apply local decimation to delete existing triangles. It is important to note that both voxel remeshing and dynamic topology delete UV information, which is not the best thing. Finally, SculptGL supports importing and exporting 3D models in various formats such as OBJ, Fly, and SDL. And it even reads vertex color information, allowing you to preserve the colors of your models. By the way, there is a standalone version that is identical to the web version, and it is available for download on this website. The bad news here is that, despite its strong community and contributors, the developer announced that he's not maintaining Sculpt GL anymore, except for small fixes, since he is currently working on the Nomad Sculpt app. Users had a great experience playing with this app as it allowed them to happily create stuff without being professional artists and without needing to install anything. Also, the fact that they could easily share the platform with others in a few seconds was pretty cool. So don't be scared to jump in and experiment with this app. There are even video tutorials like giving you a step-by-step -step guide towards making your own projects and creating beautiful sculptures. Next we have SculptFab. Now SculptFab is a fork of the old SculptGL version by SketchFab with a completely new design. As described in the about pop-up of this web app, SculptFab is the result of SculptGL plus SketchFab. The SketchFab team worked on improving the user interface but also set up a new workflow in order to facilitate publishing the sculpted models on Sketchfab, which is a website for selling 3D models, game development assets, AR, and many other stuff. This version of Sculptfab has been used for many years by enthusiasts or by professionals looking for a quick prototyping tool. Also, the Sketchfab community challenges, such as in the Sketchfast contest, where users have been asked to share their Sculptfab work and get a chance to win prizes. In an interview with Stefan, the creator of SculptGL, we learned some interesting facts about him. But what I like the most about the whole interview is that while he doesn't consider himself an artist, he firmly believes that the lack of talent is not an excuse. He attributes success in 3D modeling to experience and hard work, admitting that he simply hasn't dedicated enough time and effort to it, which is an important mindset to have in order to succeed with your 3D project. So, for beginners interested in trying SculptFab, you can find a video introduction tutorial by a School of Game Design for starters. Jumping now to Spline, a web-based, real-time, collaborative 3D creation platform. 
It is basically a set of tools that allow for easy 3D design creation by providing a fully equipped environment to create 3D objects, apply materials to them, and even make them interactive, which is really cool. You can use a variety of brushes in order to sculpt your objects in Spline. And to explore this web application, you can start by creating a 3D primitive like a sphere or a plane and then clicking on smooth and edit. And increasing the subdivisions allows for a smoother sculpting experience. So if you are familiar with software such as Blender, Spline will seem like a piece of cake. When an object is in edit mode, the sculpting tool can be accessed from the toolbar on the right side corner or by simply double clicking on the object. Of course, you can adjust the radius and strength of the sculpt brush from the right sidebar. Spline offers several brush types for manipulating objects during the sculpting process. For example, the grab brush elevates the surface from the starting point by clicking and dragging, and the draw brush enables you to click and drag along a surface. Next up, we have WAMP. Although the workflow provided by WAMP isn't really the traditional way of doing 3D sculpting, the experience is so satisfying and the results you can achieve using it feel very organic and similar to traditional sculpting methods that we use in creating 3D objects. WAMP employs SDF modeling, which stands for Signed Distance Field, a mathematical function that does all the magic by calculating the distance between the object surfaces, allowing you to perform various operations on them such as blending, subtracting, intersecting, and more. By stacking multiple primitive objects and placing them conveniently, you can produce some of the most complex 3D models just like these, considering you will do this without even leaving the browser. WAMP also offers you different tools to shape your models, as well as applying textures and colors to them. You can also import and export your models in various formats, and you can share them with others using the WAMP platform. The fact that WAMP is web-based means that it runs on any device and browser. You can even open it on your phone or tablet and start creating random stuff. Now, did you hear about Leopoli? If you didn't, it is a 3D and XR software solution company that is coveted by millions of users all over the world. And the one we are interested in today is the Maker's web application which is a free and easy to use platform for browsing, customizing, and sharing 3D objects, mainly for 3D printing. Its library contains thousands of assets arranged in categories and made by Leopold users. By the way, any of the existing assets on the library can be edited and downloaded in just a few seconds. You can start using the 3D editor without even the need to log in or sign up. So, you can either start from scratch, starting from a primitive, or browse through a large library and choose one of the assets as a starting point. There is also the possibility to import your own 3D files in STL or OBG formats, and even select one of the pre-made products to add customizations. These include wearables, decor items, figurines, accessories, etc. In summary, there are three types of editors in this web application that you can play around with. The Create Editor, which resembles the most a classic sculpting tool. We also have the Cube Creator Editor, which is a Lego-like modeling app that uses cubic primitives as building blocks. We also have the Customizers Editor, which makes it easy to add personal touches to the available accessories. Last but not least, we have 3D Slash which is definitely the simplest 3D sculpting program on today's video, and maybe on the internet. And similar to Leo Poly's Cube Create Editor, 3D Slash makes use of cubic shape slicing, a very simple method for creating models with an easy to a non-existent learning curve. Starting with a basic block of cubes, you can use a variety of tools like a hammer, a chisel, a drill, or a trowel to carve out your desired shape. To further customize your model, you can add color and textures as well as including pictures and logos. With this web application, anyone who want to create 3D models can do so without any training or prior knowledge. Although you can create only voxel-looking objects, it is worth mentioning as it helped multiple students and beginners get a taste of how to make 3D projects. 
So if you guys are interested in one of these software or web applications, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.